Welcome back again to the pen tester or junior pen tester pathway. In this video, I'm going over the meterpreter. So, meterpreter is a room that comes after the intro and the exploitation rooms for metasploit. I know I haven't made a video for these two rooms simply because they are simple and easy and they are very common. So, I want to make a video about this room, about meterpreter, because not so many know how to use meterpreter. So meterpreter is the payload that is installed on the target machine once you have access to it. Of course via Metasploit. Now basically it's considered as a post-exploitation tool where you use meterpreter to gather information or further information about the target for various reasons among which are privilege escalation, um, dumping the uh, SAM database or the hash or dumping the hashes of the target system and of course um, searching and looking for sensitive files. It's a stable shell that it's advisable always to use meterpreter if you can of course unless you're doing the OSCP you can't use meterpreter of course. So in this room uh, there is one challenge on task 5 I'm sure you can go over you can th go through the readings from task 1 until task 4. In the last task 5, I will be answering the challenge questions. So, what it takes to answer the questions first? Deploy the machine, take an IP address, and, you know, uh, launch Metasploit on your Kali system, all right? And then, what you have to do? You have to use this module, Exploit Windows SMP PX Exec. So here, we it's, it's assuming that you have got access to the uh, machine using the credentials they gave you. So we use the exploit and we show the options in order to set the parameters correctly. So what do we have here? We have, we're given uh, the R hosts, so set R hosts that corresponds to the IP address. Now we've also had uh, the SMP pass and the SMP user, which you also given. So set. This is the password. Set SMP username. Username was Poland. Okay, now we've also got to set the IP address of my machine. So this is my IP connecting to the Troy Hack Me network. Set L host. And I will use L port 4545 as I used to do always. Okay. Now we run. I don't think we're going to need this anymore. Okay. Now we will start interacting with the interpreter. Okay. So here we interact with the interpreter. The first thing. If you are not familiar with Meterpreter, use the help command to display all of the available commands that you can use against the machine. As you can see, every list of commands is categorized according to its uh, function. For example, here we have core commands. Next, we have file system commands, the kind of commands that we would resort to if you want to download, upload files, check the hash of some certain file, cd to some certain directory, copy some certain file. Here we have network commands, system commands. So you see, every list of commands, every list contains a set of commands. And these commands are categorized according to their function. All right. So, and you can see here there is description beside every command. So it is no-brainer. You can just go over according to your targets, all right, and according to your assignments, or according to your objective, you can select, you can read every command and what it does, and then use it accordingly. So, if you go back, 
Here we have the list of questions. The first thing is, what is the computer name? So the computer name is the kind of inf is the kind of information that you would find by checking the OS information. So if you go up and look for this category, so we have core commands. So in the core commands, I guess we are able to find information about the machine. Let's check that out. So we got here. Run. Nope sleep network system commands so here get environment sysinfo sysinfo gets information about the remote system such as OS so we found the appropriate command from the system commands so all, all, all you have to do is just type up sysinfo and you will reveal all the system information including the computer name the OS architecture the domain name so this command contains the answer for the first and second question the computer name is ACME test and the domain is flash so test flash what is the name of the share likely created by the user so here we look for the shares all right so if you look closely at the command sometimes you won't be able to find the appropriate command for the thing you're looking for an example would be the case we are dealing with right now as you can see we are looking to find the shares on the target but unfortunately uh, we can't do that because there is no appropriate commands to directly display the shares on the target system so let me resort back to my notes metasploit notes and see if there is some way we can handle that so let me look for shares okay so we have here this module where we can use to enumerate the shares now I know you, we are inside the interpreter shell here how can we now use another module exploit module for metasploit and still keep the session so you have an option or you have a command called background this will background the current session or the current active session to the background which means it is still running but you still get to do other things with Metasploit while it is running so you see here now it has been background now we can also now here we can get back to Metasploit and use whatever uh, we would like whatever we would like to use so for example in our case I want to use a post exploitation module to reveal the shares I list the options required options so the only thing required is the session that I have active here so the session ID I have to supply the session ID here I can list the sessions using sessions as you can see we have one active session running with interpreter and the session ID is one so what I can do here I can just set session and type in the ID number run the post exploitation module and as you can see the module has run and we are provided with the list of all of the shares Now the question is saying what is the name of the share likely created by the user so the share name likely created by the user is definitely speedster not net lock on not sys volume now what is the ntlm hash of the J Champers user. Now we have to get back to interpreter. So what we can do, we can type sessions dash i and type the session ID. Here we interact with the session. We restore it back from the background. So what is the NTLM hash of that user? So display all of the hashes of the current system or the target. We type hash dump. password get the same hashes operations fail the parameter is incorrect okay help let's look at the hint maybe something is wrong 
In the interpreter, you will need to migrate to the LSAS process first. Ah, okay. That's why we were not able to run hash dump. Maybe because we didn't have, we, need to, we needed to migrate to another process. So basically, sometimes some commands won't run as you expect them to run because you may need to migrate to another process which has more privileges, right? So in order to migrate to another process, first we have to select a process, which means we have to list the running processes using PS. So PS reveals the running processes. Now why we use, why we select LSAS process. So if you look closely at the uh, running processes here, we notice, let's see, the LSAS, right? So we want to migrate to this process if you want to dump the hashes of the SAM database. So this is the process responsible for that, for the SAM database. So we check the ID, PID, it is 780. So we scroll down and we type migrate 780. Now we hide meterpreter within another process. If we type now hash dump, now we are able to dump the SAM database. If you look closely at the jchampers, we have it is um, NTLM hash. Now what we can do here, we can just copy this part and open a new tab. I have already done that yesterday. So I, I just put the hash inside the file called user met cat user met this is the hash now I use John Tripper uh, user met dash dash word list user share Oh, we have to define the format. So dash dash format call NT. Now NT stands for NTLM. As you can see, the password or the hash has been cracked, and this is the password. Trust no one. But of course, now we answer two questions at once. We answer the hash part and we answer the password part. Next thing. What is this? Where is the secret.txt file located? Now here we come to the part where we use interpreter to look for sensitive files. In the case here, we look for a, 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 hyp a hypothetical file called secrets. But in real world scenario, we look for configuration files. We look for um, uh, let me yeah mostly configuration files, plain text, uh, plain text containing. Uh, files, plain text passwords containing files, of course. Now here we search for file using the search command dash f and we specify the file name. So in this case we take the file name secrets and we search for that file. Now it will take some time, I'm gonna stop this, but you will find that the path is this one. What is that Twitter password revealed in the secrets file? Now knowing we have revealed the path that contained, contained the uh, file, we can just cd to the path, right? cd uh, So I guess it is the So we cannot find the file specif specified Okay, now we can drop to shell it's more easier to deal, it's more easier to use the shell when you are dealing with files and directories. So cd Now we type dir and we then use the type command to reveal the contents of this file. So this is the Twitter password. Next thing, where is the real secret.txt file located? Now here we go back to interpreter and we search for this file. 
Again, I'm not gonna run this, or actually I run this, but I'm not gonna let this continue because it will take some time. You will find that the path of this file is this one. Now, what is the secret, real secret? So it means we have to reveal the contents of this file. Let's take this path, navigate to that path, and then reveal the content. So drop to shell, cd, dir type real secret and this is real secret the flash is the fastest man alive all right so that concludes the uh, challenge here i hope you found that helpful for you and don't forget that if you want to take the notes i have released a new set of notes for metasploit contains my notes on Metasploit, you can access the notes from Google Drive um, if you are subscribed to the channel membership. Thank you very much, see you in the next video.